Time now is 20 minutes past eight. 20 years after first introducing round-the-clock opening hours, Tesco is ending 24-hour shopping at a number of its stores. Yeah, supermarket giant says the change is down to the growth of online shopping. Let's talk about this now. Retail expert Phil Durrell is with us. Why don't you, Phil? Good morning. People of a certain age will remember that day, you know, when we, we all sort of went, 24-hour shopping, yeah, really? Absolutely. Seemed ludicrous, didn't it? Or, or people thought, what a wonderful thing, what an opportunity. So has, <laughs> what's happened now? Well, I think what's happened now is a change in the market because of the fact that the discounters have come in. Uh, they've taken everybody's price down a little bit. Everyone's very worried about the fact they're going to lose market share. And because of that, people are saying, well, we've got to get some margin back because our prices have gone down. We couldn't get all that back from the suppliers. We've got to start getting some profit back into the business. There's only two ways they can do that. They either diversify their range and their offer uh, by going and buying someone like Argos, or they start taking cost out of the business. And one of the costs is opening 24 hours. Where you overnight don't get... shopping was expensive to run, was it? It is expensive to run, yeah, if you're not getting the return for it. Yeah, you've got, you've got a couple of cashiers sat there, perhaps just twiddling their thumbs. In reality, labour cost is one of the biggest expenses that supermarkets have. I can't imagine, though, if you only had a couple of cashiers twiddling their thumbs, as you say, they're still going to, because these stores are so huge, they still need staff in there overnight anyway, don't they? Stacking shelves, getting the produce up to date and the night up to date. But when you actually uh, fill a store and it's completely closed without customers in it, you can do it far more efficiently, far more effectively, far more swiftly, therefore at a lower cost, than you can when customers are in. Do you think this is the start of a trend? Because obviously other um, supermarkets have had 24-hour opening I as well. I think what we'll see over the next year, which is going to be a really challenging year for all the supermarkets, is the fact that they're looking to reduce cost across the board. And so this will be a facet we'll see in many different uh, supermarket features, yeah. Do you think it was all a bit of a myth in the first place, the idea that people wanted 24-hour shopping? Do you, think it was, do you think they sort of went, oh, it's going to be wonderful and everyone right. wants it, and it turned out that no one really did? It is still valid. In large metropolitan areas, it's still valid. You've still got a, an awful amount of stores that will be open 24 hours. These are 76. They've still got a, over 400 that are going to be open 24 hours. And other, you know, um, other faces where they do trade 24 hours. So it's valid where you've got large population densities. But in more rural areas, areas and in smaller towns, not worth is it. Is there really? I mean, if, is there really a, a 24-hour supermarket? You go in at 3:20 in the morning when there's quite a lot of people shopping. Is yes. there really such a thing? Yes, there is actually. It's very weird to say, but uh, there are times when you'll go into a supermarket at three o'clock in the morning, and there'll be three or four people queuing at the checkout. You're thinking, where do these people come from? But, you know, the economy isn't just a 12-hour uh, economy. We are a 24-hour economy in some of our l large metropolitan areas. But surely being the presence online makes up for that, doesn't it? Because I'm, I'm presuming it's night shift workers, you know, people with, with odd working patterns or not 9 to 5 yeah. working patterns who are, who, are be, who are the customers, essentially. They can order online, get a delivery at 6 o'clock in the morning. You're absolutely right. But not everybody's adopted uh, online shopping. And those people who haven't, who still have that nocturnal existence, want somewhere to shop at 3.20 in the morning and go and get their bread and milk. Well, there are still 300-odd 300 300 Tesco stalls and other supermarkets which are open anyway, aren't yeah. there? So. Phil, thank you very much. We'll leave it there Pleasure. for now. Thank, thank you. you.